Okay, say so welcome to the chain rule. All right, new interesting thing here. Looks a bit confusing, but it is going to become evident. Basically, what we're doing is substituting a function for another letter called u. Okay? So let's look at the first one together, uh, and I'll explain it as we go on. Okay, if we have y, uh, if we have a is x squared take 3x to the power of 5. So we can write this as, if we say u, or if we let u equal x squared take 3x, okay, then we can write this whole function as y equals u to the power of 5. Okay. Now we can find u dash and we can find y dash. So basically this rule up here is saying, okay, is that dy on dx, all right, the derivative of y with regards to x is equal to the derivative of y with regards to u, okay? So the derivative of this function here, we've got y equals u to the power of five, okay? Just like if we had y equals x to the power of five, okay? We can find the derivative of that. The derivative of u to the power of five, okay, is just going to be five u to the power of four, okay? And then times by the derivative of u with regards to the derivative of x, okay? So here we said u is equal to this, okay? So we're finding the derivative of this with regards to x, okay? And so that's going to be times uh, du will be x, uh, 2x take away 3, okay? The derivative of this one here, 2x take away 3. Now u, we just have to substitute it back in. u is what we said at the start, x squared take 3x. So the final derivative is going to be 5 <coughs> times x squared take 3, okay, times by 2x take 3, uh, x squared take 3 to the power of 4, times by 2x take 3. Okay, so if you see what we've done here, all we've done is found u, we've found um, we've decided what u is, we've found the derivative of y with respect to u, and then we've found the derivative of u with respect to x, and multiplied them by one another. Okay, this is our answer here. All right, let's do the second one. y equals e to the power of minus x to the power of 3. Okay, y equals e to the power of minus x to the power of 3. Now let's uh, let u equal minus x to the power of 3. Well, if we're finding d, uh, so that means that y is going to equal e to the power of u. Okay, and we're finding dy on du. The derivative of e to the power of x is just e to the power of x. So the derivative of e to the power of u is just going to be e to the power of u. And if we find the derivative of u to, with respect to x, it's going to be, we leave the minus at the front, 3x squared. Okay? So this means our derivative is going to be dy on du times by du on dx. And we substitute our u back in there. Okay? So this is going to equal e to the power of minus x to the power of 3 times by minus 3x squared. Okay, and that's the answer. And if we look up here, this piece of information confirms that. We have y equals e to the power of some function x, f of x, then dy and dx is equal to, yep, still e to the power of fx, but times f dash x, okay? So we had y equals e to the power of fx, where fx is minus x to the power of 3, all right, and it's just equal to, yep, that times the derivative of this function, okay? Yep, equal e to the power of minus x to the power of 3 times the derivative of that function. Cool. Okay, and the last one, we have lin of x squared plus 5x take 3, okay? So if we have uh, lin 
of x squared plus 5x take 3. So let's let u equal x squared plus 5x take 3. Okay, then we can have y equals lin of u. And we know that dy with respect to u is going to be 1 on u, just like the derivative of lin x is 1 on x. Okay, and we know that the derivative of u with respect to the derivative of x is going to be 2x plus 5. Okay, we then just have to multiply by these by one another. So what we have is 1 on x squared plus 5x take 3, and we're times in that by 2x plus 5. Okay, dy on du times du on dx. Our answer, 2x plus 5 on x squared plus 5x take 3. Okay, so that's a, this one's probably the most complex rule that we learn in calculus. Um, but it's not too bad. We're only using it when we're dealing with composite functions.